Missouri Blue Sox are playing as well as anyone in Legion Baseball this summer, especially over the, their last 16 games. Surrey is 22-3-1 this season and was on a 15-game win streak before splitting yesterday's doubleheader with Renville County. The team has dealt with plenty of bad innings throughout that 15-game win streak, but they've learned how to minimize those mistakes better than they did earlier in the season. I think the biggest thing that's changed from the, the, the beginning of the season to, to now is that we, we can have those innings where we're not chirping at each other. We're not getting on each other. We're just putting our heads down and working. That's it. Calming down, not trying to rush everything through it, just helping each other, making sure everybody's heads up and not, not making errors. The Blue Sox return to the Diamond off the holiday weekend for a matchup with Crosby this Tuesday at home. Heading out to the Diamond today, both Williston Legion teams in action at home tonight, starting with Keybirds and the Bismarck Governors. Bismarck up 2-1 to one in the second inning. Gavin Lill drives it opposite field for the RBI single. Runner scores from third. Govs up 3-1. to one. Keybirds turn now in the bottom of the inning. Alex Ewart hits it deep to left field for the fly out. Runner tags up and scores. Williston down 3-2. to two. Next inning, Govs with bases loaded. Parker Sagsveen hits it down the left field line. Two more runs come in for Bismarck to extend their lead to 5-3. to three. Bismarck wins the first game 15-7 and leads game 2 11-9. Across the street, Wilson Oilers hosting the Bismarck Senators. First inning, Senators with runners on the corners. Oilers try for the pickoff at first. Throw gets away from the baseman, and the runner on third scores. Bismarck up 1-0. A couple batters later, Nick Patton drives it to right field. Two more runs come in for the RBI double. Senators up 4-0. Bottom of the inning now, Williston fighting back with bases loaded. Matt Goodman hits it through the infield to right. One comes in. Oilers down 5-1. to one. Goodman also doing it on the mound. Calming down gets the strike out to start off the second inning. Bismarck takes game one 15-8 and leads game two 9-8. Now over in Minot, Metro's hosting West Fargo for the team's third double header in three days. Runner on third, Aiden Deal sends one to short. Cooper Mapes goes for the unassisted double play, but the throw comes up a bit short here in Minot. Extends its lead to five. Betts trying to get on the board in the fifth. Evan Krogan with a base knock to center, but Easton Panasek skies up for the glove, able to glove it here. And then look at this throw. This one on a rope to the third. Base get the out there. Metros put, putting up the finishing touches in the sixth. Deal once again able to reach first and bring in the run on infield contact. Minot wins game one, six to nothing. Now on to game two at Corbett. West Fargo jumping out to a 10 run lead after two. Vets have the bases loaded. Leighton Hofflin with a chopper to first. Hiram Maples gets the force out at home here. The next batter is. Easton Westby, he grounds out for the second of, out of the inning, but the run comes home to extend the Vets' lead out to 13. Now, Grant Canodal with a great performance on the mound, finishing this one with a complete game shutout, only giving up five hits, picking up a strikeout to end this one early. West Fargo gets the win in five innings, 13-0 the final. 